Uh, hello everybody and welcome back to 5 Minute Crypto, the channel where we cover the most important crypto news in just 5 minutes back again with another crypto update. And this one is really interesting in my opinion. There are 60 tokenized stocks coming to crypto exchanges. Yes, Facebook, Google, PayPal, Tesla, you name it, you can trade it on these crypto exchanges. It's getting really interesting in here. It's getting, oh, I need to unzip a little bit. It's getting hot in here. Digital Assets AG, which we know to have worked with Binance before to actually list a couple of stocks on there. Tokenized stocks will be moved from a private blockchain to FTX exchange on Solana's network to be more efficient and cost effective. The company's corporate development led our lead Brandon Williams has said. So this is a really big deal, as we've explained before. For Solana specifically, really big deal. One huge piece of a use case right here, and it's actually pretty interesting. Um, one of the founders of FTX, Sam Bankman fried who is also the guy behind Serum that's also built on Solana, a decentralized exchange that is, has actually explained in one of his interviews from earlier why they chose Solana. And in a little bit of a summary here, any products that we try to build or that even that we try to scope out, we originally were just going to build on Ethereum because that's where everything was. Product after product got into the same death now, which was just that there's like 10 transactions a second, and that's just not enough for us. That's what Bankman Fried said. Solana's blockchain promises more scalability through a new consensus mechanism known as proof of history. It appears to be more favorable among traders and Serum, which is FTX announced in July, has been uh, seen its trading volume top $1 billion last month and it's growing. And of course, they don't want to be with something that is kind of stuck like Ethereum is. And that's the big point. People right now are heavily moving away from Ethereum to these other projects like, I guess, Solana being one of them. And eventually, most likely, Cardano is going to be one of the favorite destinations too. Why are they doing that and, and what's going on with Ethereum? Is it bad now? Obviously, Ethereum is not bad. Ethereum is still the number one ecosystem out of everything. The question is just, will it stay that way? Well, this little integration right here and choosing Solana for it, I think is a really big blow. They didn't really expect that. And as far as I have read right now, all you need is just to do your proper KYC and you'll be able to change or exchange 55 tokenized stocks. And the reason it's Digital Assets AG doing that is most likely this is just the company that issues these tokenized stocks, the company behind them, but also the company which makes the real life connection to actual stocks. Tokenized stocks are just kind of a token. So let me actually try to explain it in the best way. It's just kind of something on the blockchain. Let's say it's a little digit on the blockchain that represents you own a stock somewhere else. Now, even though you don't necessarily have to own it yourself somewhere else, the company could own it for you, where you basically, again, give the number to them, the number that you have on the blockchain, to showcase that that is yours and that you have a, an actual ownership of it. Make sure you understand that all tokens, specifically tokenized stocks, that represents something in the real world have to be properly backed. There was a big scenario and a big debacle about Tether not being properly backed. We're still seeing some of the repercussions for that. And now these tokenized stocks most likely are, I sincerely hope so, but make sure you understand that you shouldn't just buy miscellaneous tokenized stocks that you've never heard of or anything tokenized that's backed by something that you cannot confirm because very often those guys are trying to scam you into something. And in this case here, it's such a big deal, so legitimate that I'm personally thinking it's quite good, but even now you're never quite sure, which just to make sure you understand, these things are a little bit sketchy because if they're not properly backed, who exactly is checking that? But again, since it has a connection to FTX and is now also on Binance and Bittrex, if I'm reading this all correctly, pretty big deal. Uh, pretty excited about it as well. Will I be buying it? Well, I don't even use FTX, but <laughs> I just, I, I'm just thinking it's, it's a good little initiative. And I think this could be big for Solana. Will the price go up like crazy for Solana? I don't think so. Even though it's a big use case, usually these things don't give it that much of a bump. Uh, a little bit though. I mean, we saw Solana go up about 10% just now. It's still within margin for most of the cryptos though. But then again, maybe this news still has to be reflected by the people. It's, it's, it's really hard to say, but yeah, 
Guys, that was it for today's video. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you press the like button and subscribe. And I will definitely see you guys again in another crypto video soon.